Hey, welcome to Vex and Toys. We got a good review for you guys. Uh, we got the Revolution, the Masters of the Universe Revolution Masterverse, Gwildor and Orko. Uh, just got this in. I'm looking forward. I've been looking forward to this. The the Orko especially. I was not a fan of the Savage Orko. Um, I just didn't like the tattered, his ears were, I don't know, he just <laughs> looked kind of pathetic. Uh, but this one I do like, uh, take a quick look at the packaging here. We got some nice, nice art here. Get a little full view of that. Going back to the back. You got a good, uh. You know, shows you all the little things we do, uh, the line it's from. Let's see, what do we got here? I want to read this here. Gwildor, heroic creator of the cosmic key. Orko, hero, court magician. Eternia is a world of magic and technology, and no two beings represent these forces better than the spell-wielding Orko and the master inventor, Gwildor. The two heroes use their combined talents to upgrade He-Man's power sword for the battle against evil. So yeah, it looks like Orko and uh, Gwildor have made a new power sword. Well, that's cool. Anything on this side? Oh, a little bit more art with Gwildor and Orko. I, I do like... I'll be honest, I was not... A huge fan of the Revelation series. Um, I did like aspects of it, like uh, Gwildor's, you know, story arc. Uh, I'm, a, I'm sorry, Orko's story arc, and uh, you know, I liked how they represented Cringer. Uh, yeah, Man at Arms was pretty good, even though, and I don't know, Kevin Smith does a little bit of a a little too much comic uh, from Marvel and DC adds that a little bit too much to the Masters of the Universe. But here, let's get this thing opened up. All right, I want to show you just the little uh, insert that's in the box. Kind of shows you uh, the content list. Uh, you know, it shows you how to... Oh, okay. You got to take his head off to put the scarf on oh maybe his head does no his head is on already <laughs> i don't quite understand why he, they show him with his head off but i don't know we'll look at that later and see what's going on there uh but yeah there was uh more accessories in there make sure you check that little pocket there we'll get rid of that and yeah these all came in with the accessories here so all right, let's take a look at the figure. All right, here they are out of the box. Uh, let's take a quick look at the accessories. We got Orko's uh, cape. The first thing I noticed about this is that it doesn't seem to have the, a gold trim like the rest of it. Um, that's the only thing unfortunate about it. It's not bendy. I mean, it's, you, can, you can bend it, but it's not, it's not very pliable, I guess. it's. It's going to be hanging off him like that. But which is nice is that you don't have to put this on him. He looks fine without it. <laughs> That's the, also the, the funny thing I noticed about Orko taking him out. I was like, what? what? Does he not have the head? What's going on here? <laughs> you can actually, his eyes. <laughs> there he is. Peekaboo. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Um, then we get Gwildor's key. Uh, let's get a little bit better. There we go. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a, a wash in there. I would have liked a little bit of a wash here. It looks a little, you know, looks good. Looks good here, but then we have a, I don't know, you know, it just looks like toy plastic right here. It seems to spin. If you <laughs> if you want to spin it, it, doesn't really seem necessary. But but we got a little Orco's thing here. Or <laughs> Gwildor. I'll get it, guys. Um. That's pretty cool. Look at that. You got you got a whole little crystal. That's neat that they did that. I like that. Yeah, it's a neat neat little staff. 
you know, there's not much to it. It's got some interesting details, but yeah, that, that crystal really makes it, you know, pop. And then we have the new power sword. What is that little paint or no, a little dust or something? The new power sword. We'll take a good look at that there. So it looks to be clear. And they just painted, yep, it's clear. And they just seem to uh, have painted over that orange clear sword. Yeah, it looks neat. Um, you know, it's a little bit different. Yeah, it's, it's definitely better than the, the 2000X uh, power sword, mechanical power sword. I would much prefer this. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, I like the details in there. It's nice. The nice metallic. A, yeah. Looks good. I think that's pretty cool. And then we get... Uh, whoops, sorry, Orco. We get some Orco power effects. I thought these were going to be white, going by the promo images. But, yeah, they, they have a nice... Uh, blue sparkle to them you can see that and then we get the ring uh and it turns yeah into like a little magic ball it's uh you know it's kind of trans it's not it's yeah it's a little translucent i think it could be more translucent uh but yeah, it looks, it almost looks more like ice than magic. But we'll see how it looks on when we get them on here. But let's go over some articulation here real quick. Let's go Gwildor first. He's the, he's kind of the newest guy. Um, so check the head. Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice, uh, rotating head. I like how, f yeah, it's just got that nice, uh, for all that hair and everything. That's nice. What's going on here? I'll take a closer look here. What's, are these? What's going on? What? Oh, are these articulated? Oh, that's a ball joint. They're a little tough to move, but that's a ball joint. He's got articulated ears. You can have him kind of droopy. Uh, a little more pointed up. <laughs> that's cool. That's... Man, they... Just looking at over this figure, he's got, you know, a nice look to him. Layered. Layered clothing. Layered over layered over layered. Let's see, okay, let's check out his arms. Oh, there's like a, a, a ratchet? Oh, man. We got a... Uh, yeah, nice single, but it's there, and it's it's ah, that's kind of well hidden too. Ah, that's nice. You know, uh, just quick looking at the paint job, that orange on the nose looks really good up close, but from far away, <laughs> it looks like it's kind of a a, a paint. Uh, mess up, you know, but it's meant to be there and it looks good up close it, Yeah, that, just looking at his face though. It's that's a nice looking Gwildor Got a key oh, it's... So okay, how's this? Oh, yeah, the, boy you got ratchets in those arms. That's kind of funky. Let's see what kind of articulation we got here. Well, he's got 
pretty good articulation for uh, having this clothes in the way. Uh, that's kind of probably the only thing hindering. He's got, he could probably do some pretty good action poses if not for his skirt here. Whoa. Yeah, get him to stand a little bit better, but man. I don't know, I'm pretty uh, impressed by the school door here. Let's get him, get him holding stuff. See how he looks just holding stuff. Now this, the staff, well I suppose, he probably needs to hold it up here. I was gonna say it's a little loose, but it's obviously now I'm looking at a grip spot for it. All right. Now Gwildor is complete. Yeah, I like this Gwildor. It's it's really good. I I don't know how they could make it better. Maybe cloth goods just but I don't know, he doesn't really need to articulate that much. Uh, yeah, very cool. All right, let's head over to Orko here and take Gwildor a step back. Ah, I'm really glad we got this Gwildor. It's it's really cool. Um, all right, and as I <laughs> as I mentioned before, he has eye hiding articulation. Uh, <laughs> I, I want his hat down there that far but it's kind of you know about right there i think that's a good for him but yeah he's got you know same same neck articulation sorry cool uh let's check out the arms he's got good he got some good arms a little hindered by the something yeah this is pretty strong here what I don't know if that comes off. Um, let's see. Ah, there's no... I know he's a tiny, skinny figure, but I would still like some, you know, movement in his wrists. I I love articulation, so when it doesn't have articulation, I'm a little disappointed. Especially when I think the Origin figure did articulation really well. But then you'd have to kind of change the look of this. You'd have to bring the sleeves out closer so you can get that really good joint there. And then you just have hands that go in. But I don't know. This base is nice. I like it's clear. You barely notice it. And I think that's, that's great for floating characters when you don't notice the base. All right, going to the back. Everything's nicely painted. Yeah, he looks good. You little close up here. Same type of eyes. I know some people don't like those eyes. I, I enjoy them. I like these eyes. I like this hat much better than the previous hat. I did not like the yeah. I did not like the Savage He Man, the Orko. But yeah, <laughs> it's just his eye gets a little bit stuck in there. He's a little higher up than before, I think. But yeah, he's got a elbow articulation this time, which is an improvement over the last figure. I still have a little... Still not happy with the arm articulation. He, it's For a person with magic, it's important <laughs> to be able to move your hands and do stuff. And he can't grip anything. If I wanted to have him hold something, you know, like a shaping staff or whatever you call that stuff. I like the fi he finally gets his O. The other one didn't really have an O in there. His Orco O. All right. Well, let's uh, let's take all this stuff and put it on. All right, and he's uh, powered up doing magic. I think this looks pretty cool. Um, 
I almost feel like uh, if they would have gone a route of like, I don't know, kind of a bright yellow magic, almost like this, you know, like the, the tip of the sword here, you know, and even that clear, I don't know. Was this magic yellow or purple? I don't know. I just feel like this blue is maybe a little bland. But it it, it looks good. I mean, you you get the you get the effect. Um, whoops. <laughs> First day. Okay. Um. Yeah, this pulls back, and you just fit that in there. Uh, you can probably see that these have like little cuts in them. So, but yeah, that is pretty much it for this review, guys. Um, I'm, I'm happy with the Orco. I think he looks, he's a lot better than the previous Orco. I'm still hoping we get like a more of a classic traditional Orco and as much articulation as they can give me. Um, I mean, it should at least be Origins articulation in my opinion. I feel like the Origin line is, you know, not meant to have better articulation than the Masterverse line. And when it comes to Orco, that's my biggest grade. Anyway, I'm not going to keep going on about that because this is actually a really good set. I, I highly recommend this. Uh, yeah. The the two uh, short guys. And, yeah, I I don't know what else to say. I, I'm mostly impressed by Gwildor. They did a, a bang-up job with him. Uh, if they ever make a movie, Gwildor, I... Just, I hope that they do the exact same articulation and everything. Because this, this is really well done. Orko, he is a much more improved Orko versus our last one. Uh, but I still feel it can be improved much, much more. Mostly in the arm articulation. Uh, this, little, this little thing really gets in the way. And I, I feel like they could, uh, I feel like they could improve it with basically original Orko, you know, the, the classic Orko. Let's take a quick look, though. I want to see, uh, uh, I want to see if I can take this off here real quick. Let's take it out. Okay, so I popped the head off, and uh, you can't take it, well, you could probably take it off. Uh, you're probably going to have to use, uh, like, hot water or a heat gun. Because, look at that. We got, it's pegged in there. I, I don't know. I think that's wholly unnecessary. I don't see, it, it this could just sit on here. I, I don't think it was that big of a deal. Maybe they had, a, it would like, you know, fall down or something. I'm not sure. I feel like it, it was fine. I don't know why they had to peg it in there. But they did. And we can take a look at the Orco head. Very, I like how they did the black on the inside. That's, yeah, because I don't think the other one, they did black on the inside. I have the other one. I just don't feel like, I, I customized it a ton. So it wouldn't really be a fair comparison anyway. Um, so yeah. Those Pop him back in there. All right, guys. Well, I'll do uh, some little uh, product shots here, and that's my review. Mm -hmm.